Alright, here is a video review for Mastermind Creations R25 reformatted Oberon Aerial Combat. And you can see he is Obsidian from Beast Machines, which, uh, like I said, I like him a lot more than Turban. And I, nothing wrong with Turban, I just, the, the colors and everything just really pop from the metallic red here on his toes and the, the wingtips to up here on the intake turbines to the translucent orange plastic, or reddish orange plastic. Um, I just really dig him. His gear type propellers actually spin a little bit more freely uh, than turbines did. Um, th these do come as separate pieces in the uh, in the package, and you have to kind of snap them in. They may snap back off to put him back in the box. I haven't tried, uh, just with translucent plastic and the fact that I can't really get a good because of how this is shaped. I can't get a good grip on this to try and pop those off, so I don't want to risk breaking them. But, uh, but, yeah, and so that's what you can see some of the main differences from Turbine. He doesn't have the, the side fins coming back. He's got a newly molded set of fins here on the rear, and he's got these different side pieces with the orange uh, propellers here. Outside of that uh, and the head sculpt, they're more or less the same, uh, with paint apps being the main difference. So he's got the same landing gear, the same little uh, gun up here, clear canopy, and... Uh, Overall, I just, I just think he's a much more striking figure, uh, color-wise, certainly. And he's got these little missile pods that go onto his arms here. He comes with his bio card. All of his ranks there, as well as his comic book. Which you see some stuff cameos by some other characters and his little comic story here then of course his uh, instruction side of things which is more or less the same as his uh, previous uh, thing but then you get this uh, convention exclusive reveal and when I saw this I first thought it was just Calidus again and uh, from behind but you'll notice that is the R27SG, Calidus Shadow Ghost, not Calidus Asterix Mode. And if you look closely at that, I think you might get a pretty good idea of what they're going for here. Um, will this be at TFCon DC? I'm not sure. Um, I don't know what convention this is for. It may be for one of the overseas conventions like they've done in the past. But uh, that's clearly a SG, a.k.a. Shattered Glass Rodimus Deco in the purple and black and gray. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of that one. I was like I said, I was wondering what they were going to reveal in here, and then that was sitting there, and I was like, ooh, okay. Uh, so like I said, if you saw my Twitter, you probably already saw that a couple days ago. And he also has the instructions with the flap that is not existent. But, uh, but yeah. So let's get on to the figure himself. And you've got pretty much the same options as before. He does have the Garewalk mode as well as, um, uh, well, the robot mode. I don't know why I said as well as. So, but, but the transformation is very similar to the previous ones, uh, or for, to turbines, previous ones. Um, bring the legs down like this and uh, rotate them around. Go ahead and pull that little panel down there to fill in the back. And the legs. You said you can extend them. Probably should have pushed the button on that to give them kind of digital grade legs. Pull them back. And with him, it's actually a little easier to unpeg the arms since these are still up here. I think it looks a little better to bring the arms down like this and uh, maybe even extend the, the fingertips out for his gear walk mode. Because you're not, because he's still, I think it looks a little bit more dynamic because it still has the propellers up here, unlike uh, Whirl, where if you pull his arms down, uh, you're bringing the turbines with it. Come on, split. There we go. Once you get one out, it's fine. And he has the same little interior claw that Turbine did. 
Although his fingers are all translucent orange plastic. There's no, there's not two colors like there was on Turban, but you can give him a little helicopter gear walk mode here as well. Let's see if we can't bring that down. If it looks better if you fold this back further or, or not. So yeah, you can tweak it to your liking, but you can get kind of a defender mode out of his helicopter as well. Although again, with a giant tail. Although if you don't like the giant tail, you can fold that up for defender mode, which actually looks a lot better. <laughs> there you go, he's not quite as elongated. The pictures in the manual show him with the elongated tail, but uh, why not? Shorten it up, make him look a little bit more bulky and compact. That's kind of cool. Dun, 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 dun. Mech mode, mech mode. Anyway. Any transform, like I said, the rest of the transformation is pretty much identical to worlds. You want to lift these up, with the exception of this part. Uh, unpeg these panels from the arm, from this little tab right here. And then slide the shoulders forward. Fold up the gun. Bring the waist down, the cockpit down. Fold the whole backpack assembly down, and again, you can kind of push his head up. Although not being the longer head, he's not quite as difficult to get his head up out of there as Worlds was. Fold the backpack down on the back, and these. See, they tab in here, this little tab right here that these tab onto. And then there is another hinge back here so you can kind of angle these a little bit. It is, there, there's enough wiggle in them that sometimes it's hard to keep them from clicking onto the thing. Or I'll stand them up and we'll get them all in frame here. Let me get them back. With him, I do like to, regardless of whether he's supposed to sit on the side or not, I do like to rotate these armor plates forward. I just think it makes it look better. With Whirl, you at least had, between the blue and the silver, kind of a, a variance in color if you left him off to the side. But with Obsidian, it's all the same color plastic. And I just think it looks cooler like that. Or Oberon, I guess I should say. His missile pods, you can leave them under slung like that so they're under his arm. Uh, but you can see this peg hole goes all the way through. It's pegged into the same peg hole uh, as it was before. So getting them out, they peg in there very tightly. But yeah, you can leave these under slug or you get slung or you can bring them around and peg them on to the outside of the arm here. Up to you. Just whatever you feel is more dynamic. Although honestly, the more I mess with them, the, the more I think I may like this leaving them under his arm because he can kind of missile pod. But uh, your call. I'll leave, I'll leave them option. Leave them open like that so you can choose for yourself which one you like better. Same posability as uh, as Whirl. He's got the same up and down, side to side, as well as the rotational hinge here for his head, so he can look to the side and down and look all menacing, like, well, I'm going to get you Maximals. Having fun doing voices today. Uh, he's got the same rotational joints at the shoulder, the swivel here, bicep swivel, the dual hinged elbows, so you can give those up. These hands do rotate. Here in the slot, he's got the small little five millimeter peg claw here in the middle. If you want to have him hold the weapon, waist swivel, ratcheting hips, side to side hips, thigh swivel, the dual hinge knees, and then the ball joint foot and the flippy foot cover. Now he, uh, a lot of the pictures have him with his feet up, kind of like this, and then with the legs snapped together. 
as well as they can snap together. Yeah, because I guess, yeah, that's the only way you can bend them like that is to just kind of loosely snap them together down here. To look kind of like his Beast Machines counterpart with the, flip, with the floaty feet. Um, I guess you can leave those down too. But obviously it's hard to make him stand like that, so. And again, you can give him the backwards bent legs or you can uh, just like on a whirl collapse those up and give him normal legs. His, that's another reason I like him, his tabs don't give me a pain in the butt. But yeah, love the coloring on him from the, the bluish teal on the body to the blue on the arms to the reddish orange translucent transparent plastic and then the metallic red and then this kind of butterscotchy yellow on some of the joints and, and the re-sculpted tail fin. I just think his vehicle mode and his robot mode look cooler than Turbin. Now, if you prefer Whirl, go for it. Uh, I'm not dissing Whirl at all. Whirl's also a pretty solid figure. I just really, really love the colors on this guy. And the head sculpt. I don't have an old Beast Machines Obsidian, unfortunately, to compare them with. I do have the, uh, the Botcon toy. And I always liked this mold, and I thought this was a nice repaint. I've got a whole bunch of repainted Obsidians, <laughs> and I like them both. Um, I thought I liked this mold when it first came out. It was a fun little mold, and then uh, this repaint I thought was a really good use for it. Um, and kind of this, it's kind of the same way with uh, Turban. It's a fun little mold that I like better here as Obsidian. So yeah, like I said, I've told you which one I like better of the two, but I think they are both solidly crafted figures. They've got some good posability. Um, I just think Oberon wins. So there it is, Mastermind Creations R25 Oberon. Thanks for watching.